welcome to the LRC kitchen. I know it has been a while and uh, I've had a variety of reasons for not being at the kitchen. So back I am and uh, today I'm going to make a dish which is very simple. It's called capsicum masala but there are so many kinds of capsicum masalas that you make. The one that I am presenting to you today is extremely simple. Probably one of those that those who are getting initiated into cooking can also follow. Not to mention those who are of course very good cooks and want to present something which is slightly different and quite delicious. Uh, the ingredients that I require is I have uh, about five to six medium size uh, green pepper or capsicum as it's called uh, which is about uh, 300 grams. Then I've taken about 250 to 300 grams of besan. I have some coriander powder. I have some garam masala. I have some jeera, some rai for uh, tarka, salt, chili powder and ghee. About one, one and a half teaspoons of ghee. The, I use about two, about one teaspoon of ghee, add a little more if you think it's required later on but at the beginning about a teaspoon of ghee and a tablespoon of oil initially. Or I can further add the oil now itself. Which will be about three to four tablespoons of oil. Right now I'm adding another teaspoon of uh, ghee. Uh, I know your picture shows uh, two times but this is a very very small spoon and it would equal a little more than a teaspoon at a time. Now into this goes the tarka, some rai, a slightly more liberal helping of jeera than I would normally do for a vegetable curry. And now comes the critical Get your flame to the minimum and get the flour into this, slowly keep mixing it. Ensure that there are no lumps while this is being formed. At this stage when you think that there is less oil, you can always add some more oil to it. But ensure that there are no lumps in the, while you are mixing the gram flour. You would see now over here that it needs and will swallow some more oil. So I'm going to add a little more oil into this. So from the initial quantity that I told you about four tablespoons, it's gone up by the double. So eight tablespoons of oil is what this is going to roughly consume. more gram flour left, add it. The reason why uh, there is this much of oil going into this uh, curry is that it is not going to have any amount of water in the making of this dish. Keep mixing it, ensure that it doesn't uh, turn brown. It's an even paste, you'll realize now. Into this even paste now, I'm going to add the green pepper or the capsicum. Now, mix the capsicum with this properly. Let the capsicum and the flour fried in oil and ghee 
become a good combined mixture like this. Now add salt to taste. This as is often said by all, the quantity of salt is a very personal issue. Uh, some people like to have a little more salt. Some people eat less salt. It also depends on what other spice you're going to add. So at this stage, let this mixture simmer. Close it with the lid and see you in a while as it simmers. It's taken about uh, roughly 12 to 15 minutes for the capsicum and this to cook. Now what I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon again, depends on how spicy you want it to be. At my place, we all eat our food a little spicy. So I'm adding a little more of the chili powder than one would normally do. One teaspoon of coriander powder. And very little garam masala to finish it off. Now mix this, ensure that uh, they are thoroughly mixed. I'm going to close it again for about two minutes, two, two to three minutes, so that uh, they all get together. About two to three minutes. Uh, you'll now notice that the uh, curry is over. A little bit of steam has added to its getting together. It's all over. Mix it finally once and catch up at the presentation. At the presentation, therefore, we have pindi capsicum. Masala capsicum as I called it earlier, but pindi capsicum sounds much better. Because I've used a lot of flour, pindi as it's called in Telugu. Uh, very simple. It takes a little bit of time to uh, ensure that the basin or the flour is uh, roasted and for the capsicum to cook alongside the basin. You can either have it with roti or with rice. Presenting to you, pindi capsicum. Before I sign off, thanks and acknowledgements to my director, cameraman, um, Datu and my editor Abhinav. Bye-bye.